The social sector in Thailand had a huge crisis back when there was a global financial crisis. The social sector relied so heavily on international donations. And so when that virtually disappeared, it became that we couldn't stand on our own two feet. These non-governmental organizations, um, by working with them, I understood that they had so many great programs, great projects on the ground, but it wasn't communicated properly. I grew up in a very rural area. My family was very poor, poor back then. So I feel that if these people, like uh, those like people who beg for money, if they don't have uh, opportunities, they're just gonna stay at the same at, at the same way. There are some authors who have good content. Some publishers don't want to risk spending money on this kind of book. You know, there could be other ways in which we don't only just tap into donation money. What we want to do is break the barriers into spending power. Local Life is a social enterprise that focuses on community-based tourism, and we also utilize tourism as a community development tool. After it is a, a website, a crowdfunding website for Thai books. It's actually for authors and readers, authors who have good content but uh, don't have enough funding to, to support their uh, book project. Social Giver is an online platform that optimizes and utilizes the spare service capacity in the service sector into raising funds to create social impact. Psychic is a creative agency. Um, we work with non-profit organizations, um, non-governmental organizations, UN agencies, social good groups, helping them design and craft campaigns and to help their communications campaign better communicate with the public. My career started out as a journalist, but um, the question I always had as a journalist was what I was writing, was, was it actually representing um, the public or what the public actually wanted to say. When I came to that decision, came to that point, that made um, a huge shift. I decided to travel like, to countries like Laos, Myanmar and India. And especially in India, I found like, so many problems like inequality and I feel that okay, my job as an engineer might not be the thing that I want to pursue. I didn't know what's going to happen. Um, trying to go back to the, the drawing board a couple times uh, with, with my uh, co-founder that, oh, what should we do? What should we um, try to solve? And she said, you know, stop thinking about it, just, just do it. I don't think that your passion on a personal level and your passion to succeed through a social enterprise is separate. Working on social issues is, is very rewarding. Um, you get to see um, the things that you do actually create big impact and real change. So you don't need to be perfect at everything to be a change maker. If you get to experience that, um, you get hooked for life. If they already know inside what they want to do, but they don't do it, what happens to, to your spirit? You know, it's, it's not just about what you would gain, but also what would you actually create for other people as well.